Okay, this is my second attempt at doing this video. Uh, first time I got interrupted by a phone call. So I'll do it again here. Um, this is my uh, review of my gear after, or most of my gear after um, my motorcycle accident on Saturday, October 6, 2012. Um, I was driving um, down at basically highway speeds. I was driving down this road and I had a... Um, full grown deer jump out in front of me. It wasn't a buck, so it didn't have any horns or anything, but um, it was still a big deer. And it uh, jumped out in front of me on my bike and um, crashed into it. I split the deer in half. It was, it was completely in two pieces, apparently. Um, and then I, after I hit the deer, I basically high-sided because my uh, front tire came up and then turned. And then when it went back down, I high-sided. Um, so then it threw me off the bike and my bike's totaled uh, my mom's actually going down to the junkyard right now to pick it up for uh, insurance purposes but uh yeah so i do a review of my gear here since it saved my life and uh i'm very happy to be here looking for another bike now so here we go um this is my showy rs or not rs this is my showy x12 helmet sorry not rs um showy x12 I have no pads in it. I took all the pads out um, just basically so I could keep it as a, as a memory kind of thing. Um, you can see right there, if I can get it in the light here, that all that white spot, it's all cracked right there um, in the padding because that's where I hit my head. Um, and when you hit your head at a good 70 miles an hour after hitting a deer, you know, it uh, kind of hurts a little bit. So... <laughs> um, Got that there, and then uh, all over the front of the helmet, um, there's deer guts and deer blood everywhere. Um, I'll have to clean that off, but there's, I mean, there's deer blood everywhere. Um, my camera can't really focus that well, but um, and then I had a a, a blue, a custom blue tinted visor for it um, that got uh, deer stuff all over it, and then it got scratched up really bad. Um, the back of my helmet where I hit my head. Um, up on here on like the spoiler right above my thumb right there um, it got like a big it's all sanded down right there because I was grinding against the ground um, got big paint chips right there it's all cracked um, it's completely separated from the rest of the helmet right there um, got big huge scuff marks right uh, let's see here right above where my thumb is right there and right here um, I mean, they're, they're really deep and they're actually into the fiberglass of the helmet. Um, and then it's got like a little bit right there and, uh, probably on the sides too. But I mean, if you look at it from the top and like the top front or whatever, I mean, it looks like a perfectly fine helmet, um, until you get to, you know, back here or whatever. But so that's my helmet. Um, it's really, really expensive. I think it retails for about eight thirty nine and the $839 in the stores. Uh, in my opinion, you know, it, it sucks that it costs so much, but it, it is totally worth every single penny if it's going to save your life. So, um, right here, I got some hospital socks they gave me. I'll get to my injuries in a second. Um, here's my belt that I was wearing on, uh, I was wearing jeans and, uh, my jacket over here. So, um, my belt, I mean, it just got really dirty. Uh, it didn't, it didn't rip too much. Um, but you can see some of the circles are just like completely sanded down, bent. Um, like you'll see some really bad ones here. Uh, there's a really bad one. It's sanded down. It's all gold. Uh, there's, they're usually black like this. Um, so yeah, that's my belt. Um, here's all my armor. Uh, here's my back pad that's in my jacket. Um, you can see like all the really dark areas like... Um, in front of my pinky but like the second part of the pad right there like right here all that's dark um, down at the very bottom it's all dark it's it's uh, peeled up right there that's all melted plastic uh, from grinding against the ground um, here are my shoulder pads that came out of my jacket they held up really well um, protected my shoulders pretty well they got some scuffs right there but not too bad um, here are my elbow pads that came out of my jacket. Um, we've got a big scuff right there, but 
I mean, the pads themselves are in good shape, so they did their job. Um, not too much shoulder uh, injury or, or elbow injury, as you'll see, but uh, the, my gloves held up really well. Um, the, both the bottom of the gloves look like this. I mean, they're just, you know, uh, leather gloves. They, they stayed intact. Um, my right glove, though, the knuckles right here got slammed into the ground, and it completely peeled off the, the hard knuckle right there. Um, it's a little rough right there too. I mean, it's just kind of like got grinds against the ground a little bit, but for, uh, for gloves, it's not that bad, but so over here, uh, here's the inside of my jacket. Um, and they did have to cut the, cut the jacket off me. So all the really clean cuts are from the paramedics actually cutting it off me. Um, but, uh, you're, you're about to see the bad part of it in a second. So you can see a little bit of the bad part right here. This is where my shoulder blade injury came in. Um, I got the Hooligan 2 Threshold Icon Jacket here. Um, so if you want to turn it over and look at the real bad part, let's just put it on the ground. Uh, let's put it on. I don't know where we're going to put it. We'll put it right here. Um, so here, um, here's the arm. This is all torn up right here. Uh, that's where my pad was, but it's all torn up. Um, basically completely melted the arm. Like you, you can see this is like, it's hanging on by threads. It's completely melted. Um, like it's literally hard because of the friction, uh, binding the, the jacket to itself, um, down there too. Uh, here's the top of the jacket. Um, also completely, completely melted. Um, you can see like burnt pieces right there. Um, completely just destroyed, um, melted, melted, melted. And here's the back of the jacket. Uh, you can see completely melted through the outside and through the inside liner right there. Um, and then down the back of the jacket, this is also all completely melted right here. Um, through the inside liner also. Um, you can see this is just all, all destroyed right here. I mean, this is just like the, the worst possible case of a jacket right here. I mean, it's just like, I can hold it up like this and it just, you know, look at that. Look how just terrible that is. And you can see right through all the top right here. I mean, it's just, it was just ugly. Um, so that's that. Uh, I don't have my jeans that I was wearing or my shirt that I was wearing cause they were all covered in blood. Um, and everything like that but here's my here's mainly what my boot looked like when I was riding it's a steel toed boot um, you can't really tell because whatever but it's a steel toed boot right there um, you know this is my left boot I got a little scuff right there uh, but pretty much the boot held up intact except for like on this on the front it got all scuffed right there too but I mean the boot pretty much remained intact uh, for the most part I mean you see a little part right here came out where like on here it's still there, but um, so that's what it kind of looked like. You can kind of imagine. Here's my right boot. Um, whenever I hit the ground, it completely ripped open my entire shoelace. It snapped it in half in six places. So I guess it snapped it in six, but uh, completely snapped it in half. Um, my shoe right here is just destroyed. Uh, it's all burnt up right here. It's just all, like, bonded to each other. I'm really sorry about the camera quality here, but it's all bonded to each other right there. Um, complete, like, a hole right there. Completely sanded down on the front right there. Um, whenever I hit the ground, my shoe actually uh, came, like, it snapped the laces, and then the tongue came up like this, and then it flew down the road. And uh, one of the bystanders that actually called 911 went down and picked up my shoe and came back and put it back on my foot. I don't know why she did that, but uh, now I'll try to get to my injuries here without showing you any of me because I am currently not wearing clothes because I can't. So I've um, got those on my ankle from when my... So I can turn it like this. Um, that's from when my uh, boot came off. Um, they're all kind of scabbed over a little bit there. They're all healing up pretty well. Uh, I got this on my left calf. Um, 
got this on my right calf and a little bit of scrape right there. Uh, over to my left knee, this is when it starts getting bad. Uh, you can see that right there is just really raw. Um, it's still healing over a little bit. Um, it's just really raw and so is this. Uh, I got a little, little, little scratch right there. Um, on my right knee, really bad. Um, it's even worse right there. You can see it wraps all the way around the front. Uh, and up top right here. Sorry, I'm pointing to the wrong way. Uh, up top right here and then down right here. And then this one right here is probably one of the worst. It's probably the second worst. Um, there's actually, you can't see it on the camera, but there's actually a hole in my skin right here. There's like a huge chunk taken. It goes like, it kind of like goes down like this and then it goes down and up because there's like a huge chunk of skin taken out right there. And, um, I can actually fit my entire tip of my finger in the hole in my skin right there. You, I don't see if you can try to find it here, but I can fit my entire finger in the hole right there. Um, moving up. Um, my hip, uh, that's completely, um, I mean, that is extremely terrible. It's really, really painful. Um, it's, it's healed up pretty well and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, um, trying not to show you anything that's not good. Um, this is my, this is right above the other one right here. So you got this one and then you had... This one right above it uh, wraps around to my back. Um, got that one on my tailbone. Uh, so this one, um, funny story about it. Uh, this one right here, uh, there's one on my shoulder blade and then one on my other hip that looks exactly like this one. Uh, they all had the bandages from the hospital uh, get literally stuck to the wound for about three days. Uh, but... Um, Let's see if I can get another. So there's the other one on my other hip. Um, hopefully I'm not showing you anything that I shouldn't be. But So there's the other one on my other hip. It looks exactly like the other hip does. Um, but shoulder blade right there. I hope you all can see that. Um, if you can't, then I'm really sorry. But that was also stuck to a bandage. Um, that really sucked right there I'm trying to show like sorry if it's like wiggling around but I'm trying to show the whole area just so I can make sure I get it um, and then uh, I just got a little bit on my hand or on my wrist right here where my glove came up um, it rolled forward like this way um, and then a little bit right there and then I got uh, this was kinda funny um, this was a scar like the big circle around it that you see or the big mark around it that you see was actually a scar and then I got this one right here from the accident so I'm gonna have a like bullseye scar it's gonna be a scar within a scar so um yeah I mean it's it's extremely painful um oh I also have a cut right there uh, I have that covered up with a band-aid just because it's starting to itch and I don't want to itch it open um they're all kind of starting to itch so but right now I'm thinking of either getting a, uh, I've been looking around, I'm thinking of either getting a 2006 uh, Kawasaki Ninja 636. Um, it's completely custom. Uh, the, the guy spent uh, over $1,500 customizing the paint job. It's all white and then it has some really, really nice decals on the bottom and on the windscreen and everything. Uh, it has a uh, Yoshimura R4. Is it the R55 or the RS5? I can't remember which one it is. Um, Slip-on exhaust on it. Um, so that'll be really exciting if I get that one. There's also a, another Craigslist ad that I was trying to negotiate with the girl. Um, she just moved to Kansas, and she got a divorce, so she got a bike uh, from her ex-husband, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if it's hers or her ex-husband's, but um, seems like a scam. But I haven't confirmed that it is one yet, so I'm still trying to trying to get information on it. It's a 2009 Yamaha R6 uh, in perfect, like absolutely perfect condition. Um, it only has 500, no, it only has 650 miles on it. 
So, I mean, it's not even out of the break-in period yet. I mean, it's that new. And she's selling it for, I want to say, 4100 Like, that's it. Um, because apparently she tried to sell it for uh, Kelly Blue Book value, and no one would take it. So she, like, dramatically reduced the price for some reason. But um, if that doesn't fall through, I'm extremely excited about the... Uh, 636 um as soon as i get a new bike i'll be posting a video on it and uh hopefully for christmas um i'll be getting a gopro or um one of my friends might let me use a gopro or something like that to do some riding videos or something but um yeah until then uh everyone wear your helmet and your gear it's worth it i don't want to see any squids out there